Hello friends, welcome to my latest blog on the Mojo programming language by Modular. Today I am very happy to share this very exciting news. The Modular release for Mojo programming language is finally out for Macintosh operating systems. In this video, I am going to show you a live demo about the Mojo installation on Mac and how to browse and run few simple programs. In later follow-up videos, I will be publishing a lot of beginners friendly tutorials about learning Mojo. You will find link to my GitHub repository in the video description below. A lot of enthusiastic developers like me have been waiting for this announcement for a long time. Because Modular SDK was only available to work on Ubuntu, now Mozilla developers can use Mac OS and Windows in future to contribute to the language. So just in case if you are new to Modular and Mojo, let me tell you something about this new programming language. It is developed by the people at Modular and the community. And the reason everyone including me is so excited about Mojo is because Mojo is out to be the new AI language of the future. Think about Mojo as a Python++, but thousands of times faster than Python. Now Mojo is a complete programming language and you can imagine as a superset of Python. So that means you can build upon your existing knowledge of the Python. And plus, since Mojo is going to be a complete system programming language, it's going to be built on the state-of-the-art compiler and MLIR technology. So what it means in layman human terms is, that Mojo is the only language you will ever need to learn from the application as well as the system programming language perspective. And also Mojo in the modular engine is all you will need to run your AI code with complete control on different hardware platforms like CPUs, GPUs, etc. You'll be in complete control as a developer of your code and you'll be able to deploy it from research to production on different hardware with complete interoperability. So again, just to recap, you'll find links to my GitHub repository, which is a work in progress, uh, the Mozo programming language book, and I'm going to update this as we progress. Now let's go start with the installation. Let's open a browser window and go to modular.com. The best way to find the installation notes is go through their blog. So this is the blog. It was just released today. So as you can see, go inside the blog. And here I want you to please pay attention to the couple of the feature requests here. Go to Mojilo's GitHub repository. You will find these two feature requests open there. One of these is obviously closed today. Now these feature requests tells you when Mojilo is going to release the Windows installation uh, modular SDK. Let's go back to the installation instruction page again. The first thing they will ask you to do, install Homebrew. Now, if you're on a Mac, there's a very fair chance that you already have uh, Homebrew installed. But in case if you don't, just copy the instruction, go to your terminal window, and uh, let me clear it again here. And then you just right click and paste that command here. Now, there's a, you know, most of the time it will ask you the sudo access. So make sure that you run this command with sudo. I already have this, so I'm not going to do this over again. Now we have the homebrew installed. Let's go back to our installation instruction and let's download the modular SDK. So there is a curl command and this curl command actually, it uh, what it does basically is going, it's just going to download the modular SDK on your Mac OS. So once you issue that command, it's going to take a couple of minutes. Again, depending on your uh, network speed and machine, it may take a few minutes. As soon as your installation is complete, next command you want to issue is modular installed mojo. And what this command is going to do is going to install Mojo on your local network machine. Now, once you shoot this command module and install Mojo, I want you to please pay attention when this command finishes. So at the very end, when it's about to finish, it's going to pass on some recommendation. And this recommendation is all modular is saying that you should include uh, that modular Mojo uh, path to your um, to your bash src file. So please make sure that depending on your terminal, copy this command and make sure that you run it. Otherwise, next time when you try to install Mojo REPL, it's not going to work. So I'm going to copy this echo command here one at a time and paste it in my terminal window and then run it. All right, so as soon as you run it, next thing is, let me clear out this, um, window here and now let's hit mojo and if everything is well it's going to install a repel uh, on your machine on your terminal window now inside this repel just for the fun let's try to use this uh, mojo as the calculator so one plus two and one thing pay attention that only when you do, do the double click double enter then only it executes the command if you hit a single enter that it thinks that okay it's, it waits for you to provide more input here so print hello world double enter and it goes to print the hello world here now let's go print one more thing here to print and again if you do one plus two it doesn't understand anything everything has to be inside the print statement here so if you 
2 print 1 plus 2 or you know you print any other mathematical calculation good thing is moji is very smart and is going to understand it does the calculation is going to print the results on your terminal window there all right so that looks pretty good now now let's go start uh, you know shooting some more commands and start writing some mojo code now another way of executing your mojo code is create a file so as you can see i have a file called hello.mojo and if i want to execute the code just say mojo hello.mojo and it's going to execute the code as you can see this code has some problems and obviously because you know when you're running it's a, a, your mojo code inside a file it is different than running code inside a REPL. now here if you are executing this you know, hello.mojo as a script you have to have a main function so I'm going to cheat a little bit and I will go to my the Mojo programming language book. Again, this is the GitHub repository I was talking about. And you will find a link to this GitHub source code in the video description below. So here I'm going to write a lot of different codes here and uh, from the very beginning to the very complex. And I again, this code is a work in progress. So please don't expect much and it changes very frequently. So now here I'm just going to copy uh, one code which has the main function here. Let me get rid of this and type this main function paste save this and now if i go to my terminal window and execute this mojo hello.mojo as a script file is going to execute that code and is going to print hello world so mojo hello.mojo enter see hello world all right so let's go back to our github repository one more time and here i'm going to look for some code as you can see this is a very started beginner friendly code here but i have like you know written chapters on variables in data structure functions loops and control flow array list module and packages a lot of things again i keep on saying those are work in progress because language is very very infantry stage here most of this uh, code i copied it from their website and i'm going to rewrite this using my struct and classes whatever i'm going to create now let me look for a function which has the main function otherwise if i again if i copy this code and put it inside my hello.mojo file uh, is not going to work because i need a main function and this will work as a if i want to create in module and packages here uh, then then in that case is going to work so again sorry unfortunately i don't have like too much code which i can demonstrate it today and actually i wanted to you know show you the code which actually compares the speed of python versus uh, mojo but unfortunately i won't be able to do it today because you know i am remotely logged into this machine and i don't have many resources to work on today but definitely in future videos what i'm going to do i'm going to walk you through all of these different quotes what i've written and that's all i wanted to cover in this video today i know there is a lot of things i want to discuss and future videos definitely i'll be making more and more videos which will be very business friendly and also i'm going to cover some very advanced topic in near future so please uh, subscribe to this channel and give a thumbs up to this github repository thank you very much